What's going on fam? It is your favorite entrepreneur, Basic Mental, back with another Amalgamite, another fusion character. This character's name is Gami Namikaze, but this isn't my character. The idea was given to me from one of my subscribers. The subscriber is Werewolf Key USA, I believe that's it, or it's Werewolf Key USA underscore Mufasa. He had the idea of combining Minato Namikaze from Naruto, the father of Naruto, and Boruto's grandfather, with Lord Death of Soul Eater. And I, I never really liked his design, but he's also the father of Death the Kid. So I went into the design process. After that, I started trying to find a look for him. I found it pretty quickly once I had the two references to look at. I wanted him to look, to at least have two arms and two legs. Gami Namikaze grew up pretty normal in Death Village. He worked himself to become Hokage. And in becoming Hokage, there was one instance where Kaiju, and if you know about Kaijus from the previous Omogamite videos, Kaijus are basically Jinchuri keys. And in this form, it just happened to be a really big fox. You can see where I'm going with this. Well, the Kaiju fox attacked the village on the day of the birth of his son, uh, Okid Uzumaki. Let's go with Kid Uzumaki. That sounds really cool. Gami was called to protect it with a variety of skills. And because of the Meister weapon combination they have going on in Soul Eater, we decided, I decided to apply that to Kaijus as well. But these Kaijus work with and for the Leaf Village specifically of uh, the Hokage death as one of his size, just like in Soul Eater. He has uh, eight different death sides, one that's always with him, which is uh, Spirit, who's his main scythe, which looks like a death scythe. But then he also has um, another seven that went through the process of becoming death size, which is uh, collecting 100 of the demon souls or the, the uh, kaiju souls one human soul, human soul, and one witch soul. After going through that process, they had their weapon forms and their human forms and so on and so forth. And a lot of Soul Eater, Lord Death, was basically bound to Death City. Well, with this combination of Soul Eater, I decided that the Hokage will be bound to Death City as long as, like, because he has a, he has the death size, right? There's seven of them placed around the world. And as long as he has a death scythe in other parts of other parts of the world and other academies or other villages, he can then jump to each village because the longer he stays away from his main village, Death Village, where spirit usually stays at so he can get back and forward. Minato's ability with his kunai, his specific kunai allows him to basically teleport in a flash. And it's the same concept with his death size. He can jump to each death size and also have them come to him if necessary. But if they're all like, you know, around for one battle, oh my gosh. Insanity, being able to move between each scythe, use each weapon differently, and have each scythe move as they need, you know what I mean? like. That's insane. The soul resonance is also a thing. I'm I'm gonna call it the uh, in the, sh the chakra resonance. They can combine energies, and death is of course he he that's the he's, the he's at this level. He's just a beast. He's an animal. So he will literally merge chakras with all of these sides and be able to use them without even having to talk. That was part of the idea that I got from Sir Lax. He has a podcast, the Man the Fan, the Man the Fan podcast. I recommend y'all check it out. I'm a fan of the man episodes. If you're a sports fan, you would love them too. If you really want to get to know them on a deeper level, definitely check out the man episode. So the, the seven weapons or the eight weapons you see total in the image came from that idea of what if he still applied that teleportion, that teleportation technique that Minato uses, but it's supplied to the death size you feel me at or the kaiju size as needed. Gina, like in Naruto, was good at sealing 
kaiju. Basically controlling them, locking them down so they couldn't do anything in the NASA that you can basically do what you wanted with them. Put them inside objects, put them inside people, completely get rid of them, so on and so forth. But Gami thought, what would happen if someone decided to befriend a kaiju? And he decided they decided to save the village by putting the kaiju in to Kid. I'll be illustrating Kid in another video. And he'll have I'll be telling his story and it'll make sense to you, obviously. But I'll be telling his story in another video just to continue a little bit of Werewolf Key's idea. He was a prodigy at his younger ages, grew up to basically become Hokage of the village, and married, had a son, uh, but died saving him and the rest of the village. I hope y'all are leaving more Amogamite characters you want to see combined in the comments. They do not all have to be anime. Because I don't want to limit my brain like that. You. You can pick cartoon characters you want to combine with anime characters. You can pick game characters. You can pick movie characters that you really enjoy. There's going to be another series coming where I actually make YouTubers into their own creations. This is my idea. I'm going to run with it. We'll see what happens. Just stay tuned for the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please let me know your thoughts. Definitely drop Amalgamites and do something really important for me. Come back to the channel because I'm your favorite entrepreneur, Base of Mental, and do one more thing. Be creative. Go create. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.